Hey friends, the time has finally come for me to update my Mac. Um, I've been beta testing Sonoma just to sort of see what was coming down the pipeline and I'm rebooting everything. I'm totally cleaning it off and I'm going to reinstall all my recommended apps that you know every Mac user should probably have or at least consider having. So without further ado, let's get started. First things first, uh, we're gonna start out by customized settings on the Mac. I like to go to system settings and set up my trackpad trackpad at the very bottom there and one of the things i like um, is tap to click definitely want that i like to have my tracking speed almost all the way to max uh, click needs to be light that's it scroll and zoom i like the reverse scroll pretty happy with all that okay and then in keyboard you go in here and i like to do a few things just my color after five minutes um, keyboard short here going to here always 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 turn off this bastard correct spelling automatically it's absolute rubbish um, we'll click that you're always looking at your computer you've got a full keyboard why would you need to have an autocorrect you've got spell check um, it, it, it never autocorrects what you want it always autocorrects things you don't want so just turn it off all right next thing so that's the mouse trackpad and cursor settings and the next bit I like to do is locate my sidebar. Um, it starts here on the bottom, but you don't have much vertical screen real estate on modern day computers and laptops. The screens have gotten wider and wider and wider. Originally they were square, and so it didn't really matter where you located your, your bar. But um, now that screens are much, much wider and not very, very tall, we always, always, always want to locate your um, navigation dock on the side. Um, and for me, I always do it on the left side because I read left to right, and it's just where things are going on on the left side. So let's see, where is that? That's in here somewhere. I like to decrease the size of the dock a little bit. Um, I do like to do a little bit of magnification. Position from the bottom, let's turn it on to the left. That's it. And I'll organize these all later. I've got a picture of how I like them normally and I'll just um, reorganize them and I can show you that towards the end of the video. All right, uh, we can also do hot corners really quick. Just at a quick note in the bottom right, I like to get to my desktop. And on the top right, I like to pull up Finder, to be honest. Um, ooh, Notification Center might be nice, actually, for up there. Next thing after the sidebar in the dock settings, uh, let's go Optimize Spotlight. Um, let's see, what do we do? System Settings, Siri and Spotlight. There we are. Ah, oh, yeah, Spotlight here. We don't need Spotlight looking through our movies, our music. It's just save spotlight time when you're looking for stuff. Um, mail and messages, images, you can turn off all of this. We don't want it looking at websites at the moment. Um, that stuff will work. All right. Let's, so that's our settings for Siri and Spotlight. There's a couple of things I like to set up in Finder that, um, that, are, that are worth uh, changing around. A couple of things. One of them is Finder settings. This old guy here. I like to see my hard disk. External drive, CDs, and iPods. Don't use those. Messages. Instead of my recents, I like it to go straight to my downloads, to be honest. Let me show my downloads folder. Okay. The sidebar. Okay, let's take recents out. Um, applications, desktop, documents, downloads, uh, let's see, iCloud Drive, shared, don't know if I need shared. I like to keep this minimal because it just keeps everything a bit cleaner. Um, we've got those showing on the desktop, so we don't need that. See, DVD, we don't need that. Leave that one up. Don't need that one. Don't need that one. Don't need that one. Leave that. I think I'll pop that one back on. Don't need that one. We've got the desktop there available, so I don't really think we need that one either. So that's that optimized. Going to advanced. All file name extensions is a must. Otherwise, you don't know what you're looking at. We don't need the warning before emptying the bin. Reruns from bin after 30 days. Yeah, search the Mac. Okay, so that's our finder settings. Done. Now there is one more thing I want to do. I want to customize this toolbar. And I like to add in, where is it? 
Um, it's nice to have a delete button up here, but it's also nice to have airdrop up here because sometimes you select file, you just hit airdrop. You don't have to click and drag it over into this little guy. You just select the file here. I'll show you. Click, select the file. Boom. I can click that and it'll airdrop it wherever I want it to go. See, but there's lots of different settings in here. Some of these are good to use. I don't use all of them, but they're, you know, definitely worth taking a look. And that's how you do that. And now Finder is set up. So we are ready to move on to the next item in our list. So right here is my list of fresh install Mac apps. These are these are items that I always like to use on any of my fresh Mac installs, and I'll just start that. The first one here is Hidden Bar. Click that guy. It's in the App Store, which is always a nice thing. You can generally trust things that are on the App Store. Um, it's a free one, Hidden Bar. I'll just show you what it does. It's really, really cool. So this is it. I've already downloaded it. We can close that, close this guy. Close that guy for now, and this is the app, okay? So what does it do? Well, it's this little bit of functionality up here that you can see. Oh, here we are. In your Max menu bar, hold and drag icons between sections to configure hidden bar. So, and there's, we're gonna add a few more apps here shortly, and that will show you how, how to do that. So basically, you just flip around, you just read the instructions. When in doubt, read the instructions. Use the command bar to drag them around, but that's cool. So now if I come in and I click this button, it hides all those bits that um, I don't wanna see. Next up, copy clip. Another App Store app, download that, get it going. I'll show you what Clappy Clip does. And it's just a very simple um, app that basically allows you to copy anything like Control C. It keeps a record of all your Control Cs. So if you need to copy a bunch of different things in a document, you can come back and use Copy Clip to do that. You can tell it how many clippings to remember. I'll just do 80 clippings is probably good. Uh, I probably don't really need to display all of them. You need to put any exceptions you can I generally don't well and that's it that's copy clip so next up and one thing is another app that I really like to use I'll show you really quick we download that guy pretty quick and here we go open there we are so that's one thing one thing is just it's like a little reminders bar if ever you need to remember something you basically just click this guy launch it login that's how we set it up Boom, log in get started and here we go ah one thing right here what is the one thing well for me there's actually technically two things i'll put in two little things and i'm trying to remember one of them is i'm trying to remember to study uh parslane which is some kind of herb that um i want to room to study to figure out what it does and why you want to use it the other one is another herb that i'm thinking about uh trying to use and it's called moline and i need to study both of those so i type in parslane and moline and it's my one thing it puts it right up here um and it's pretty cool right i mean that's it just stays up there and it, it reminds you this is one of the things that you want to do now for me i want to move it into my main area over here because i want it to be just visible all the time um, and then another thing i like to do is i like to change the color um let me see where is it here we are something a little bit more bright than white i like to change it like a green that way i don't forget what it's there for so that's called one thing another app that i highly recommend it's really really neat um it's simple and you know what more could you look, want i mean you can put anything in there to remind you of any any old thing to to do to study whatever for me it's parslane is it parslane or parslane i don't know i'm gonna have to look it up but that's another thing all right so we'll minimize that that's one thing let's move on ah the next one is shotter this is a screenshot tool it's a really good one actually i'll just go ahead and get that downloading allow um I'll put all these links for you in the in the links tab below, but this is basically your one-stop shop for all your free Mac apps. Um, I might have to take Adblocker out of there because it looks like it's not free anymore, which is lame. I've been using it for years and years and years, and now all of a sudden they're going to try and charge me. It's crazy. Um, anyways, I will um, put all those links there. Let's close that guy. Close that. This is the Shotter app. It's really, really neat. You're going to like this. Watch. I like to have a PNG or JPEG, definitely any scrolling sheet function. Click, go straight to save. I like to save into my downloads folder. And that's kind of cool. You can actually clip out the background if you like, so it just shows you transparent. I didn't really know it could do all that. That's, that's kind of neat. That'll automatically make it a PNG, though, so I don't know if you want to do that. Okay, just to sort of give you a quick idea on how it works, you click the little button, capture screen, or just capture an area on screen. Say I just wanted to capture, I don't know, just this little bit right here, my Mac apps that I recommend. Boom, I click that. Shotter automatically saves it to wherever you tell it to save it to. There we are, and I can edit, save, pin. Let's just click edit, and there you go. That's your editor. You can bring it up. You can do all kinds of things. Save it, close, and there you go. That's how it works. It's a quick screenshot app. app. You can do your whole screen, capture your whole screen, pops it up, and there you go. 
it's um it's pretty cool i highly recommend it take a look when you get a chance all right next one is image optum so image optum is sort of a I, I put it in the category of minimalist apps for everybody because this one um it basically takes your photos and it strips out all of the unnecessary information and data that's saved with your photo um, it's kind of a cool one because it makes your photos smaller, basically, which, you know, who doesn't have trouble with space um, these days? Like, everybody's always got issues with their space saving and stuff. So, um, you know, uninstall this shard, or at least move that to the bin for now, and we'll get going with this one. Image Optum app. Oh, Rosetta, that's fine. Install all that stuff. And now we've got Image Optum available. Here we are. And basically, it's just an app. I like to have it up higher in my thing. Um, where you just drop your images in here. It'll strip out information and make the image. It'll keep all the quality settings to the quality settings that you like. It doesn't actually change the image in any way. But it, it just strips out all the unnecessary redundant data like geolocation, where you took the photo, that kind of stuff. Which a lot of times you don't. I mean, sometimes you want to keep that information. In that case, you just don't put it in Image Optum. Optic, but you don't want that data in every single one of your photos that you always take. It's just unnecessary data that clogs up your computer over time, and it's, be, it's good to be able to strip that stuff out. Anything you download from the internet, you may as well strip that information out because you're never going to need it, basically. So here you go. That's Image Optum, and I will show, I could demonstrate how it, you, it works, but I don't have any images on this because it's a brand new clean install. It's just a program I recommend you take a look at, download it, you see how easy it is to install, and there you go. Let's move on to the next one. Last one is Omni Disk Sweeper. This is a really good one. It's a very powerful one that I've had for years now. Um, it's really good on Macs. I highly recommend you go ahead and download this. Um, basically, it, allow, it's a, it's, it's a, it allows you to access your file structure and delete stuff directly on your Mac um, that you may or may not need. So you can do damage with this. It's Literally, it's Omni. It, it's very, very powerful. It's Omni powerful. So um, you don't want to just sort of play around with it, but... Um, it's um it's it's a very powerful tool to clean your Mac when you need it. So I'll just go ahead and open that and get that guy going. Agree to the EULA, because I've read it in the past. But run the applications through, and we've got Omni Disk Sweeper there. There it is. I like to have him over here towards the bottom. All right, how's that? But let's just say we wanted to sweep. I'll just do it quick. Okay. Oh, you have to give it permissions to start, but I like give it permissions for everything because. It's basically going through the Mac and scanning the disk to see what you've got on here. And if you wanted to delete something, you could go in and delete it all. It's still scanning. I'll let it run for a little bit, um, and it will say, go through all the different things that you want to allow it to scan. Give it all these permissions, and it, it'll basically tell you where you're using up so many so much information. So it's a very powerful way to find large files and all that. Now it's complete. Shows that my system's got 18 gigs. Eight, ten of that's in my library. And it gives you a breakdown on all this. So three gigs are in private frameworks. Blah 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 blah. Since it's a brand new, fresh install, there's nothing I need to delete. But should I need to delete in the future, that's what this is for. It's a really good, powerful thing. Omni Disk Sweeper. Highly recommend it. You don't really need much else um, to keep your Mac clean. Um, but you also have to be really careful because you can delete some system files and all that because it's very, very powerful. So don't go around just deleting things you don't know, you know, if you need or not. But anything you know that you um, want to delete, you can use this to go in and do that. So that is the short list of all of the apps that I highly recommend. If any of this helped you out, please like and subscribe and leave any questions down in the comments.